Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand for the fervent prayer. Come, Holy Spirit, fill my heart with your holy gifts. Let my weakness be penetrated with your strength this very day, that I may fulfill the duties of my sacred life conscientiously, that I may do what is right and just. Let my charity be such as to offend no one and hurt no one's feelings, so generous as to pardon sincerely any wrong done to me. Assist me in all the trials of life, enlighten me in my ignorance, advise me in my doubts, strengthen my weakness, help me in all needs and embarrassment, protect me in temptations, and console me in all afflictions. Graciously hear me, O Holy Spirit, and pour your light into my heart, my soul, and my mind. Assist me to live a holy life and to grow in goodness and grace. Please be seated for a while. Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Eucharist this seventh Sunday in Ordinary Time. In today's Gospel, Jesus tells us that as God's children, we have to imitate his love, which does not limit itself to good people. As believers, we should not remain passive to evil and injustice around us. May this Eucharistic celebration be the source of our courage and strength in loving our brothers and sisters. Our priest presider for this Eucharistic celebration is Reverend Father Marlon Reyes. Let us all rise to greet our celebrant and let us glorify the Lord by singing the anthem song. <coughs> begin our thanksgiving in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we lift up to God our thanksgiving for the many blessings that we have received. Iabot natin sa Panginoon ang ating pasasalamat sa mga biyaya na ating tinanggap sa isang buong linggo na nakalipas. Let us prepare ourselves to receive Jesus as we acknowledge our sinfulness. Let us remember the many times we have offended God, the many times we have hurt others, and the many times we have become too proud and unforgiving. With a humble heart, we ask the Lord for his pardon and mercy. We humbly say, I confess. 
tall, and mighty God, and, mighty God, and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and, and in my words, in what I have done, in and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us glorify the Lord. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that pondering spiritual things we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. The Lord commanded the Israelites to love their fellow countrymen. Christian love makes no distinction between races, religions, even one's moral standing. The first reading. A reading from the book of Leviticus. 
the Lord said to Moses, Speak to the whole Israelite community and tell them, Be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. You shall not bear hatred for your brother or sister in your heart. Though you may have to reprove your fellow citizen, do not incur sin because of him. Take no revenge and cherish no grudge against any of your people. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefit. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your iniquities, heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction, crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us nor does he requite us according to our crimes. The Lord is kind and merciful. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgression from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Apostle Paul reminds us that the Holy Spirit dwelling in us makes us God's temple. If we are God's holy dwelling, then we ought to respect and love each other. The second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do you not know that you are the temple of God and the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For the temple of God, which you are, is holy. Let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you consider himself wise in this age, let him become a fool so as to become wise. For the kingdom of this world is foolishness in the eyes of God. For it is written, God catches the wise in their own roses, and again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. So let no one boast about human beings, for everything belongs to you. Paul or Apollos or Cephas, or the world or life or death, or the present or the future, all belong to you and you to Christ, and Christ to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise for the proclamation of the Holy Gospel. <laughs>
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, Offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you on the right cheek, turn the other one as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, hand over your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you and do not turn your back on the one who wants to borrow. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes his son rise on the bad and the good and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated for the homily. Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome home. Batihin naman natin ang ating mga katabi ng good morning, welcome home sa kanan, sa kaliwa, sa harapan, sa likuran, sa ilalim, sa ibabaw. <laughs> Alam nyo, Feel na feel ko yun ngayon. Welcome home. I, <laughs> I am I am back here. Hindi ko na matandaan kung gaano ako katagal na wala. As some of you know, I had my mission appeal in the United States. And uh, uh, for salamat sa inyong uh, very very warm welcome. No, pagdating ko doon pa lang sa labas, no, at at least Kilala niyo pa din ako. Kala ko magpapakilala ko ulit eh. So thank you very much. And uh, be, you know, I, uh, because I did the mission appeal, um, I have to speak a little English because I told those people in the United States, yung mga napuntahan ko pong simbahan doon, no? Sabi ko sa kanila, you know, in the Philippines, I am popular there. <laughs> Naniwala sila. <laughs> Naniwa, joke lang naman yun, pero naniwala sila. And uh, some of them, dahil magkaiba yung oras natin, no? so panonoorin nila itong, uh, itong ating misa. Eh. But uh, at a different time, I am sure, baka gabi pa sa kanila at natutulog pa sila ngayon. But uh, allow me to greet them too, our dear friends in the United States. Uh, to all of you there, we share with you the blessings from our home the Feast Mall of Asia. From our home to your home there in the U.S., uh, may you receive also the blessings from the Lord. This Sunday is the seventh Sunday in Ordinary Time. The invitation for, for all of us is not to be popular. The invitation of the Lord for us is to be perfect, just our heavenly Father is perfect. To be holy as God the Father is holy. And what are we to do to achieve greater holiness? Jesus' message for us today is about loving one's enemy and forgiveness. Pero alam naman nating lahat, as our experience tells us, loving an enemy is never easy. Loving an enemy is never easy. 
you know, retribution or getting even is the more common response to a wrongdoing. Mas madali yun. Mas sanay yata ang karamihan sa atin na gawin yun. Sinaktan mo ko, sasaktan din kita. Chinismis mo ko, ichichismis din kita. Iniwanan ako, dapat iwanan ka din. Sino sa inyo, siguro marami sa inyo mayroong Facebook or any uh, social media account. Have na experience yun na bang mabash? Ang dami-dami niyan ngayon. Binash mo ako, ibabash din kita. You know, in the social media now, parang uh, we are in the culture in the culture of uh, of uh, bashing. No? Kahit di naman kakilala, nag-aaway, o oh, nag-aawayan. How can you forgive a spouse who is unfaithful and keeps doing it? Paano mo patatawarin yun? You have a spouse and unfaithful to you. Mayroong pumunta sa akin na, na babae, yung asawa niya, um, uh, unfaithful, tapos pala inom, no, ganyan. Sabi niya, Father, paano ba yun? Eh, you have to be forgiving. Kaya niyong ayusin yan, ganyan. No? Paano ko ba yun gagawin, Father? Eh, sabi sa Bible, love your, eh, love your enemy, pray for those who persecute you, ganon. So sige, sabi niya, Father, ganito lang gagawin ko sa asawa ko na yan. Pag uwi niya, love your enemy, ha? Pag uwi niya, paghahain ko siya. Wow, paghahain ko siya. Bibigyan ko siya ng malamig na malamig na beer pag uwi niya. Sasamahan ko ng sisling bulalo, chicken skin, chicharong bulaklak, <laughs> dadamihan ko ng betchin tsaka ng asin. <laughs> how can you forgive someone who is like that? Or how can you forgive someone who is always backbiting you? Yung bang nakangiti kapag ikaw ay nakaharap pero pagtalikod mo, there is a different story about you. Iba na ang kwento tungkol sa'yo. Destroying you in front of others. How can you forgive a killer, a robber, a rapist? In the last time na napanood ko, di ba, yung nagtitinda ng pares, mami, maghapong nagpagod, maghapon na naghanap buhay, kumita ng 8,000 pesos, gabi na pa uwi doon sa pamilya, sinalubong ng magnanakaw, inaagaw ang kinita na pinaghirapan buong maghapon, Ayaw niyang ibigay. Siguro nasa isip niya, para to sa pamilya ko. Pinaghirapan ko to. And then, the, the rubber, ayaw ibigay, siya ay binaril. How can you forgive a person like that? Magnanakaw. Paano mo mamahali ng magnanakaw? Kapag ka ba mayroong magnanakaw, pumasok sa bahay nyo, tinatukan kayo ng barel, sasabihin sa inyo, uh, uh, um, minanakawan namin kayo, sasabihin nyo ba sa kanya, uh, halika, kumain ka muna, baka map- <laughs> pagluluto kita, baka mapagod ka sa pagbubuhat ng nanakawin mo sa amin. Pa, paano mo magagawa yun? Love them, pray for them, Alam niyo minsan, uh, naalala ko, uh, nung bago pa akong pare, for three years, Monday, minimisahan ko po ang aming mga madre doon sa Novaliches. That's Monday. Um, so sa San, from Santa Cruz Church, ako po ay uh, nagko-commute going to Novaliches. That will take about uh, one hour or so. Kaya pag Monday, gumigising ho ako niyan alas 4 ng umaga para ako may simbang gabi. Tapos from Santa Cruz Church, ako po ay naglalakad papunta sa Quezon Boulevard. At doon sumasakay ako ng UB Express papuntang Nobaliches. 
Ako po, pagsakay ko sa UB Express, total one hour or so yung travel, I am taking the, the time, the opportunity na makatulog. I, wala naman akong gagawin doon sa UB Express. So, natutulog lang ako doon, pagising ko, bababa na ako doon. Sayang, sayang na yung pahinga. So, na, gusto ko natutulog ako doon. Minsan, papunta ako doon sa Nabaliches, Pag sakay ko sa UB Express, tuwantuwa ako, maluwag, no, doon sa gitna. Kaya lang, meron na nakasakay na babae doon sa dulo. Tapos, sumakay ako, merong dalawa pa na sumunod. So, kompleto na kami doon sa gitna ng UB Express. Tapos, nagbayad ako sa driver. Para wala na ako iintindihin, matutulog na ako. Nagsimula na akong matulog. Nung halos talagang mawawalan na ako ng uh, consciousness at makakatulog na ako, yung babae nakatabi ko, bigla siyang nagwala. Hindi naman yung talagang ano, nagalit. Natamaan yung siko niya. Eh, apat kami ron, natural, magkakadikit kami doon. Tapos nagalit siya. Sabi, ano ba? Kaya sumigaw siya. Tapos nagrarant na siya ng nagrarant. Tapos ko siya. Eh, Yung katawan niya, pang isa't kalahati naman talaga, imposibleng hindi naman matatamaan yung braso niya na yung braso niya kasi laki ng hita ko nga yung ano. Anyway, so matatamaan naman talaga, pero nag, talaga nagagalit siya and then ko ano-ano na yung sinabi niya, no? Sinitinitig ko sa gilid, no, wala, ako wala, gusto ko lang namang matulog, wala ako ginagawang masama. Pero kung ano-ano na yung masama niyang sinasabi, nagalit na siya ng husto, tapos tinignan ko naman, hindi uh, naman kagandahan, pero nagaga, <laughs> nagagalit naman talaga. <laughs> Lord, sorry, pero hindi naman talaga. <laughs> so anyway, galit na galit siya. Nagraran siya na nagraran, nagraran siya na nagraran. Eh, misa yung pupuntahan ko. Ayokong pumunta dun sa misa, magbimisa ako, and then I have a... I have, uh, you know, an ugly feeling, no, hindi maganda. So, naalala ko to, pray for your enemies, pray for those persecute you. So, habang siya ay nagraran, yun na lang ginawa ko, silently I was praying, Lord, 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 kunin mo na siya, Lord. <laughs> kunin mo na siya at dalhin doon sa kanyang pupuntahan, no, kayo naman. <laughs> para bumaba na, para makatulog na ako kasi gusto ko talaga magpahinga. How can you love people who are like them? You know, one very, very easy thing to do when one hurt you or offend you is to take revenge. In the Old Testament and among various cultures, the underlying principle is an eye for an eye and tooth for a tooth. Very easy ho ito kasing gawin eh. But today, Jesus is teaching us to go beyond. Why? Because true love is all about going extra mile. True love, Christian love, is about going extra mile. Love is is giving and forgiving with no limits and no conditions. And this is the challenge that Jesus points to us. Madalas ho kasi, our natural reaction is to reject this kind of concept uh, of love in the name of justice and fair play. Dapat patas. But the challenge of the Lord remains. We are urged to be perfect as our Heavenly Father is perfect. Go an extra mile. When Christ said, uh, love your enemies and do good to those who, per to who hate you, you know, the Lord is not asking us to have nice feeling towards uh, an enemy. But the Lord is actually telling us that we should not seek revenge. We should not seek revenge. Because when we do that, revenge, nobody wins. Walang mananalo kapag gantihan lang ng 
kabutihan. You know, vengeance never evens the score. It induces the injured and the injurer to an endless cycle of retaliation. Pero siguro pwede, baka itanong ninyo, is not Jesus teaching of uh, non-retaliation to evil condoning evil? You know, uh, one very good example is the example of St. John Paul II. Although the Pope had forgiven Ali Agka, uh, the one who attempted to assassinate him on May 13, 1981, Ali Agka remained in jail for years to atone for his crime. And lapit-lapit tayo ng konti sa atin. The same with the killer of the mother of uh, Cherry Pie Picache. Siguro alam niyo yung istorya ho na yun, ano? Um, that was very inspiring story, a very inspiring story of forgiveness and praying for one's enemy. In that story we see in the life of Cherry Pie, Picache, um, mak nakita natin, hindi naman talaga instant yung forgiveness. Proseso pala. Pero ang pinakamahalaga, nakita natin, it is not impossible. Pwede pala. So loving an enemy, my dear brothers and sisters, does not mean a crime like murder or a big death should be forgotten altogether. No, it may require uh, letting justice take its course in the proper forum, of course. And praying for your persecutor enemy can mean asking God that the culprit will be sorry for his crime and also reform eventually. Pagdasal natin sila, in faith, kung talagang tayo may pananampalataya, in faith we believe prayer changes everything. Prayer changes everything. Remember that. And so, maybe it is good to ask ourselves today, is there someone whom you cannot forgive? Or one you're not in, in talking terms with for months or for years? Mga tao na matagal mo nang hindi kinausap. If going the extra mile, if forgiving uh, others, especially your enemy is difficult, ganito na lang. Try thinking of how many times our loving Father has gone out of His way for us. Kung nahihirapan kang gawin yan, Isipin mo na lang kung papaano ka pinapatawad ng Diyos mula noon hanggang ngayon at paulit, ulit, 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 ulit. My dear friends, remember that. Go extra mile. Pray for them sincerely. You know, a lot of conflicts and problems can be resolved and healed if we take the invitation to this road less travel, going extra mile. So don't harden your hearts. My dear brothers and sisters, love the way Jesus love. Forgive the way Jesus forgive. God bless you. Please stand for the, profession, for the profession of faith. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, 
and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us dedicate ourselves to mirror the Father's holiness in our daily lives. Let us ask the Lord for the courage to live up to the challenge of the gospel as we say, hear the prayer of your people, Lord. Hear the prayer of your people, O Lord. That nations torn by war and violence may settle their conflicts through dialogue and peaceful negotiations. We pray. Hear the, the prayer of your people, O Lord. That warring factions among our people may realize that violence beget more violence, while reconciliation ushers peace and hope. We pray. Hear the prayer of your people, O Lord. That the violent and the oppressors may open their eyes to see that the love of God is an invitation for them to reform their lives. We pray. Hear the prayer of your people, O Lord that those who work for the cause of peace may be given strength and perseverance in their difficult missions. We pray. Hear, Hear the, the prayer prayers, of your people, people, O Lord. That Christians may realize that love is a potent force for the transformation of the heart and society. We pray. Hear, Hear the, the prayer of your people, people, O Lord. That God may forgive the sins of our departed loved ones and welcome them to his kingdom where they will enjoy everlasting peace. We pray. Hear, Hear the, the prayer of your people, people O Lord. Lord. For the eternal repose of the soul of Antonio Dones, we pray. Hear, Hear the, the prayer of your, of your people, people, O Lord. For the prayer intentions of the Holy Father, Pope Francis, for this month of February, that the cries of our migrant brothers and sisters, victims of criminal trafficking, may be heard and considered. We pray. Hear the prayer of your people, O Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intentions and all intentions offered in this Mass. We pray. Hear the prayers of your people, O Lord. Almighty Father, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, taught us that we should be holy as you are holy. Teach us always to do your will, that we may offer you a fitting sacrifice now and forever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Eucharist. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the be earth God. and work of human hands, it will become our bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end, we acclaim. the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. So as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our apostolic administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. First Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And we your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the blood and blood of Christ bring his soul to everlasting life. For orderly communion, please be seated and wait for the ushers to guide you. We will be practicing communion in the hand. To do this, hold out your hand, left on top of right, and wait for the priests and lay ministers to place the host on your hand. Thank you.
Please kneel for the Racho Imperata. God our Father, we come to you in need to ask your protection against the 2019 and coronavirus that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease and stemming the tide of transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sea with competence and compassion, and of those governments and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this epidemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calumsod, pray for us. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by those mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will now pray for our children. Ating pong hawakan ng mga bata and raise and the uh, we will pray for them. God, our loving Father, we thank you for the gift of these children. Bless them, Lord, with your loving presence. Keep them in your love and peace and loving protection. Keep them away from all evil. May they grow in holy wisdom. Embrace them always, Lord, and may they always feel love. And may they always feel the embrace of you and their families and friends. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us all thank Reverend Father Marlon Reyes for celebrating the whole of the Christ with us. Maraming maraming salamat din po sa inyong lahat. This is a very uh, uh, special mass for for uh, for me. At uh, mula nung dumating ako galing sa US, dahil aalis na naman ako. Ako po ay binigyan ng bagong assignment kasi bilang pare. I will. I was assigned. Uh, tama ba? Basa na tanggap ko yung appointment. Ako po ay magiging assistant parish priest ng Our Lady of the Assumption Parish sa Davao City. Malapit lang. <laughs> so, <laughs> two hours. Two hours lang yun. <laughs> Ayan plano. So, I'll, I'll, I'm going there March uh, 16. So, may isang buwan pa ako dito. Kaya, uh, I am very blessed bago ako pumunta doon, I am here with you. It is my joy to bless and break bread for all of you. And thank you for the very warm welcome ulit. And uh, I know when I go here in Manila, I have a home here in the Feast Mall of Asia. Thank you. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go forth the 
Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God.